This morning I'll take you on a walking tour right through the heart of town. We're going to stroll down the main pedestrian mall, the Vasiutka, and have another look into the food market and see some of the other highlights in this central part of Budapest. We always like to do walking tours in our visits to Europe. Well, we're starting out our morning walk, leaving the Meridian Hotel in Budapest, heading down a couple of the main shopping streets, pedestrian malls, Vasiutka, and such. Beautiful morning. No rain today. This is Diakter, and it's a very busy bus station, and there's three metro lines that converge downstairs. So this is the busiest transportation hub in the city. And it leads us right back into the inner town. That's the inner boulevard. We were walking on that last night, those of you, us who went to the restaurant. And there's a tram line along there. And then there's an outer boulevard. It's about six blocks over, and it's like a ring street as well. And for those ambitious walkers in the afternoon, you might want to head up Andrasi Boulevard to that outer ring at Octagon by the Burger King and walk along the outer ring too, or ride a tram along the outer ring. It's, it's something to see, it's a local spot. We're gonna be walking uh, around here to the municipal building, have a quick look at the outside of that, and then back down to Vasiutka and along its length to the food market. We'll be there probably in about one hour. By the way, if you were to walk on the boulevard, Andrasi Boulevard, past the opera, it's 1.2 miles to get to the end. Yeah, 1.2 miles. So it's a decent walk along that boulevard to Hero Square. And here's the main entrance for the metro, the Diak Ter Metro. Three lines to pick from down there. This way, quite a few sidewalk streets here, pedestrian plazas in the center. Very pleasant walking. They've really fixed up this center of town. They, these kinds of pedestrian plazas just weren't here four years ago. But they've done a ton of work here to make it all nice and clean and modern in an old-fashioned way yet. The buildings look awesome. Yeah, they're Stop. spotless, aren't they? Yeah. Must have been a lot of scaffolding here. Wow, nice, huh? Makes it very pleasant for strolling. Walking past this huge municipal office building now. It's a monster building. You look on your map, it's a, a big black blob. It takes up the whole city block. It's the, it's the biggest black blob on your map. This, this building here. Folks, just to illustrate that these huge buildings that seem monolithic and come right up to the sidewalk as if it's a solid block of cement all the way through are not at all. They have these central courtyards. And this is typical, in fact, of all of Europe. And here you get a nice view of the front door and the grand facade and the statues above the lintel of the doorway. Monumental statues and the columns surrounding the door. It's, it's about the biggest building in Pest. Another view back at this building. Now here you can get a better view of the scale of this structure. It's awesome. Shows you the power of the government in the communist days and that's continued right till now. So in front of you again is the city hall, obviously connected. So that's the political offices and then the civil service type bureaucratic offices in the municipal building. Similar layout like we've got at home in many places, City Hall here and the municipal building next to it. We're gonna leave this street now and head down the pedestrian mall that will lead us in a few blocks to Vasiutka. I've been keeping us off of that for now just to show you the back street, but let's head down this way to Vasiutka. It's just about 9.30, the shops haven't opened yet. 10 o'clock they'll open. A few workers are out, cafes are opening. Shops will be opening shortly. Nice time to be out walking. Well, we're back now at Vasiutka. Uh, Boris Mighty Square is this way, where we came from. And so most of you still haven't seen this stretch, certainly during the daytime. And uh, you can discover that later on, on your own this afternoon, early evening. It's very nice out here. And we'll continue. We're gonna go all the way to the end in this direction. We'll stay on Vasiutka now. Now this Vasiutka, it's always been the central promenade of Budapest, ever since the 1820s. And during the communist era, even then, it was a busy pedestrian street and it had quite a few shops. It was probably 
the most commercial street in the communist world because Hungary was pretty well known for doing okay in that communist period. Of course, nothing like today, obviously. But, you know, in Russia, there was nothing on the shelves in the stores. Hungary was a different story always. They were more advanced. And this was the center, and still is. So you find that Vasi is just a perfect place to stroll. You can go up and down here numerous times. Poke around, people watch. Oh, it's nice weather for it today. This is the one part of Vasiutka that is not strictly pedestrian. It's a connecting link from the Elizabeth Bridge. So there's some cars that go along this one block. Otherwise, Vasiutka is all pedestrian. And now we're in the second half of Vasiutka between Elizabeth Bridge and the food market. Also broad pedestrian mall, a little bit less crowded than down at the Boris Marty Square end. And with nice shops along it too, you'll see a lot of uh, variety of stores, clothing stores, shoe stores, antique shops, art galleries, cafes, bars, restaurants. You're wondering what to buy in Budapest. Well, this is a really good example of all the fabrics, the lace, the little dolls with the traditional outfits. A nice souvenir shop right here on Vasiutka. Several of them lining both sides. Leather purses as well. Luggage suitcases. There they go, doing some bargaining already. A nice view of the street here if you want to grab a shot. Okay, straight we go. So you notice this um, Baroque church facade. They've got Vivaldi there. Wow, they're making more pedestrian lanes here, it looks like. Really improving this place. You guys doing good work here. All right. Excellent. Bravo. Budapest has really come a long way in the 10 years that I've been coming here. Already you can see our destination. It's the brown building at the end of this street. Completing our stroll down the wonderful Vasiutka, we arrive at this grand food hall. It is really one of the great spaces in town. We're in the central food market in Budapest. It's the largest covered food hall in Hungary and built in the late 1800s in that old-fashioned metal and glass style. It's really quite a national monument. They've got multiple levels here. There's fresh produce downstairs. There's meats and other kinds of goods here, fish on the main floor and paprika, wine, cheeses, everything. And then upstairs, they've got souvenirs. They've got restaurants and cafes. So it's a multi-level experience. And you can take an escalator to get up if you wish to. It's just a place you can't miss.